I ever wanted was somebody to play this. Yeah, take my song, put it on a plate, and get goosebumps every time they play it. Wait, this is my call. Hello, everybody. Good morning. This is gonna be annoying, I know, I'm so sorry. So I'll just stay here. Um, I just got to work. I didn't get to finish the vlog last night and the reason why I'm filming in the dark is because I'm embarrassed a little bit because people still look at me like I'm crazy when I'm um, looking into a camera and there's a lot of people that are getting to work right now. Not a lot, but people around me. So I didn't get to finish the vlog yesterday so I wanted to finish it today because I do have some time. So basically I just wanted to give some shout outs, some appreciation and love shout outs. Um, so the first one is going to go to Yahaira. The day before yesterday she sent me a really cute message. I think she's one of the few that knows my self-esteem struggles and I just think that she goes out of her way to make me feel okay, which is really special. I love you, Yahaira. Thank you for doing that for me. And then I also wanted to shout out Bryce because he is such a good and supportive friend. He's always sharing my videos. I don't even have to ask him. and. He he is trying the gallon game. I don't know if he did it yesterday because I think he says he has to fill it up with tap water. So I don't think he did it yesterday, but I appreciate you, Bryce. I appreciate you being such a good friend ever since the beginning. I also wanted to shout out America because she's just so sweet. Yesterday I asked her what she wanted for Christmas and she said that I was a present already, which I don't know how I got blessed with such amazing siblings like America, Manuel, Cassandra, Yahaira, and Joanna, and Nicholas, of course. Um, I don't know how that happened. Another thing I wanted to talk about was yesterday I saw this quote that says, don't let your lack of discipline be the only thing that's holding you back. And that hit me hard because I have been having such a hard time getting up and going to the gym. So this morning I went and I feel fantastic. So that's really gonna help change my mindset. I am going to work on improving in small ways every single day. So yesterday I told you guys I had some chocolate and I had some Pringles. If they offer me food at work today, I'm going to decline it. And that's one little change that I wanna do compared to yesterday. So I'm just gonna take it day by day as I tell my clients, as I tell everybody, it's one step at a time. And all those little steps, they add up to something like you're climbing up the ladder as long as you keep moving forward. So that is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I just have these random bursts of motivation and I want to tell you guys how I'm feeling and I, I hope that if you're watching this and if you're trying to find that motivation to get yourself in the gym or to start a new goal, this is it guys. You don't have to wait for the new year. You can start today, you can start tomorrow, you can start in an hour. At the end of the day, every little effort is going to count. So. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys stay fearless today. So yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, good morning. Today is December 6th. I'm gonna check just to make sure. I really wanted to get that right, and I did. Today's December 6th. It is currently 5.08 in the morning. What's up guys? I just finished running, and the reason why I'm filming this is because I like to show you guys the struggle. So I don't know if you guys can hear my wheezing, but my lungs are struggling today. I did finish faster, I think, than last time. I'm so tired, but so worth it. All right, guys, it's now 1.08 and I have to eat my second meal. You guys are currently sitting on my coffee maker, which I think I actually really like this angle. So this morning I just ate scrambled eggs with turkey bologna and, or turkey bologna and turkey, turkey bacon. So, and then some coffee. And right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some ceviche, some healthier version. You can't really make ceviche healthier, but basically whatever I have in my fridge I'm gonna use. I don't know what else I have planned for the day. I have to go to my brother's Christmas concert at 6 today at school so my day is going to be cut short and I have to make my food for tomorrow so I think I will do that after I eat and then I'll start getting ready and stuff. I'm doing laundry right now but yeah. Story comes 
from Louisiana. People walked into a pawn shop, stole a TV from the top shelf. Next day, they came back and tried to pawn it. All right, guys, here's the final product. So it's basically a huge ass protein bowl and I put cucumber, jalapenos, tomatoes, and onions. So I'm gonna eat that and then get on with the rest of my day. Bye. So I currently just watched The Ace Family and I'm watching it again, The Ace Family's new intro. If you guys haven't seen it, oh my gosh. Yeah, I started crying and I think that I started crying because I am not a big holiday person. I don't have good memories that connect me to the holidays. So I've always been kind of like a Grinch um, until I met Ricardo and when we started dating, it was kind of weird to see like such a transition into somebody's life who actually enjoys the holidays. So now he's he does like a really good job of trying to help me feel in the holiday spirit, I guess. And I think just watching that makes me think of what our family can be like one day if it happens. I haven't decided yet. Hi guys. Oh look, you can actually see the, my hair color yeah, here. We're at, oh, again, for my brother's concert. Got Mama right there and America right there. Oh, wait, hold on. And the chocolate cake, that's exactly what I was gonna show. So yeah, I'll put some footage in from Manuel's performance because he's gonna do really good. But yeah, it feels weird being back here again, even though I've been back here multiple times. We'll see how it goes. Is that right, guys? I have to ask them to keep me on my toes. fearless friends welcome back to another video okay first of all let's address the eyelashes in the room the this is what my eyelash extensions are looking like right now I don't know if you guys can tell but this one has just like these ones here still and then this one still is like more full I just want them to fall off so they could all look normal either I want them to be full or I want them to be completely off you guys know that I don't mind being natural being natural um so i just i just want them to be either one or the other anyway how are you guys how is the quarantine treating you i hope that you guys are doing well and i hope that you guys are staying fearless because i know that being at home all the time is hard and i know that there's a lot of growing pains that we have to go through right now so i do hope that you guys are doing well if you guys need anything you know i'm always there for you i may take like 24 hours to seven business days to reply sometimes but i will always reply and i'm always here for you guys and if it's urgent just let me know and i will be there for you 1000 percent so let's talk about it right we start the video off talking about some appreciation shout outs and i shouted out yahaira america and bryce and i still 1000 percent appreciate all three of them so so much beginning with my sisters which are america and yahaira if you guys <laughs> i don't know if i've talked about this before but america is the most selfless person that i know i guess i feel pretty blessed for her to compliment me if that makes sense and then yahaira she is also very selfless but she's also very honest so to receive you know compliments from her any like praise or anything like that I feel really special because I know that she's being honest and I know that she's not just saying it just to say it and then Bryce yeah we've been friends since we were 15 16 years old and to this day he's still one of my best friends and it's those kind of friendships that you really you don't need to see each other every day you don't need to talk every day you don't even need to have like a deep conversation you just know that at the end of the day if something serious happens if you need a friend he's the kind of person that'll show up for you 
So yeah, I appreciate those three very, very much. Obviously, there's a lot of other people who support me 1000%, but I, since we're talking about this video in specifics, I wanted to talk about that. And then I also talked about, you know, starting your journey with whatever you have your mindset on, starting it now. You don't have to wait for, what did I say, Monday. You don't have to wait for the new year, a new month, whatever. Guys, right now, with the things that are going on, I would recommend that if you're trying to start something new, whether it's starting a new like healthy habit, whether it's starting a new um, creative project, whatever it is, you need to do something to make you feel good right now. Something that's like, if it doesn't hurt you, if it doesn't hurt other people and it makes you happy, this is the time to do it. I mean, if you have the time, I don't see why not. Obviously, I'm still working on like the whole discipline thing, so it's just in and out with me, with me being disciplined. Um, I do feel like I'm a lot more disciplined now. Honestly, guys, if I could tighten up on my diet, it'd be over. My physique would be where I wanted to, want it to be two years ago, if I could do that. Because I can train, I can drink my water, I can get enough sleep, but the nutrition part is what's hard for me. And like I've said in previous videos, my history with food has improved quite a bit, so I feel like this is the year I feel like I am not thinking about food the way that I used to think about it, and I know when to stop myself from overeating now and then um, when to stop overthinking about calories and stuff. I think that if you ever want to start like a weight loss journey or like a healthy habit journey, like healthy fitness journey, you really need to come to terms with what your relationship is with food and with training, I would address that before even starting a new journey, which is why I started Road to Baja Fest because I feel like I'm ready this time. Okay, so you guys do see another clip where I've come back from running. So funny thing is, I still have not gotten running shoes, so I haven't ran outside, so my steps have been way down. If I'm lucky, I'll get like 3,000 steps a day right now during quarantine, which is really bad. <laughs> but I just got a new treadmill, we set it up today, so as of today, I'm gonna try to get 10,000 steps because I can walk the steps now. I don't wanna walk outside because, I don't know, I just don't have the patience for that. I'm also scared that a dog's gonna attack me because we live in the Mesa and like, you just never know. And I am a true crime fan, so I know a lot about kidnappings and also like the West Mesa murders happened right here, so yeah. Okay, so you guys saw me prep my meal, my little ceviche, still a big fan of shrimp. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw me prepare a big ass bowl of literally just shrimp, lime juice, and salt, and some salsa valentina. Yeah, I'm still down for that. And then, oh, I also talked about the um, Ace Family intro. So let's talk about it. I do not watch the Ace Family anymore. As you guys know, they've been in a lot of controversies within like the last two years and I just, I don't know, I feel like if there's smoke, there's fire most of the time. Of course, I love the little girls so I love seeing them like randomly come up on my Instagram page or something but I just don't really follow the family anymore. But yeah, I still feel like at that time I was feeling very emotional about it because there's a clip in there in their intro from back then where Catherine has, I think she has Elle like sitting on the uh, island and they're like drinking hot chocolate together and it's super cute and like, like I said, I've never, I've never been like a big holiday person because my holidays sucked when I grew up. Um, I don't have really good memories about them. They're obviously changing now that I have my own family separated from my immediate family. With Ricardo, like we're building our own holiday traditions and it's a lot different than what it was back then. But I just got really emotional when I watched this and I still remember because I hope that one day I'm able to relinquish those feelings, move on from it, and then be able to build that sort of bond with maybe my children. <laughs> and then just to keep you guys updated, as of right now, I am thinking about having kids. I don't know when. We were supposedly planning on having kids or getting pregnant by the end of the year, but this is what I told babe. Honestly, I want to be able to get to my goal weight. I want to enjoy my body, be happy with it, wear the, the outfits that I want to wear, 
just feel good about myself before I go and then completely change my body and you know like it's just something that I I need to be mentally prepared for something that huge and I don't think that I'm there yet and when I finally get there I want to be able to enjoy it for a while before I go and I make such a big change but that's big progress because before you could ask me if I wanted kids and I'd be like nah I'm out count me out <laughs> So yeah, that's some big progress there. Let's see, what else did we talk about? Do you guys see me go to my little brother's concert? Isn't he so funny and so cute? Um, and he's so talented with his jazz. I got really, really, really lucky with my siblings. They all have like their own little traits, obviously, but in, in a unified way, like they, they're just perfect. My siblings are perfect. And the siblings that I gained with my marriage are also perfect so yeah I think that's all we're gonna talk about today this video is gonna be very very long because I had a lot to say about this one but like I said I hope you guys are living fearlessly I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope that you guys are spending this time in a positive way I've drank a couple of times here and there during the quarantine but guys like take your health seriously especially now with everything that's going on I hope that it makes you realize how important it is to make sure you're sleeping well to make sure you're getting your nutrients in making sure that you're getting your exercise in and then spending time with your loved ones <sighs> but yeah I love you guys I will see you I don't know why I'm saying that I'll see you guys in the next video oh and if you got into this far in the video please Make sure you've liked the video, make sure you've turned on your post notifications, you've already subscribed to the channel, you comment, ooh, let's see, if you've gotten this far into the video, comment down below what you're doing right now to keep yourself sane during the quarantine. I would really like to talk to you guys about that. And then if you guys wouldn't mind, I would love if you guys shared this video up on your feed. And I'll see you guys on next Friday because I have a vlog coming up next Friday. I love you guys. Bye.